Hi guys and welcome back to Road Golfers. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all our latest content. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your round on a ShotScope V3 watch using a PC. If you prefer to use the mobile app, there is a link up there to a video that Jay's done that covers that. Now, if you do like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up because that really does help the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. So open up your Internet Explorer, Chrome, or whatever you use to access the internet and type www.shotscope.com and press enter. That'll open the Shotscope website and in the top right corner you've got dashboard login. So if you press that one, it'll then ask you to put your Shotscope email address and password in. So do that and press sign in. Now you'll have your rounds on the right here. Mine are already blue because I've already edited them. Yours will probably be orange. So we wanna edit this one here. And on the left here, you've got an overview of all your shots. If you press holes, you can now individually look at each shot. You can go right here, and go through them. Now I've changed these to show the problems that you can come across. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to rectify them. So if you go to edit, sign off, and you can put your handicap in, but don't worry if you haven't got one because at the end of the day, it isn't going to make any difference to the statistics. You want to put where you've teed off from, leave this at white if you don't know. Um, you've got the plus there to add other colors and then press edit. Now this is done over Google Maps, so it means you can click and drag wherever you like, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. So let's get to editing. So on this hole, it's saying I did it in two shots, and I know I did it in three. So we wanna add a shot. So you would either click on the two there, or the two here. So if you click two once, it then brings this box up. Now, if you was to press shot and add, it's then put one in between them. And you can now drag that wherever you want. Now I wanna put that to the edge of the green. And I wanna make that a putting shot. So if you go down to the arrow on the third shot, you can change that now to whatever iron you want. So if we do putter, that should now need now mean that that's been changed to a putter so we go to hole two so this has got a little warning here check the club and location of this shot sometimes it will say that you've teed off from a position that you haven't so that's easy to change all you do is put your the hand over it click and hold and drag it to the position where you teed off check everything there make sure it's all correct all looks good to me move on to hole three right so there's something seriously wrong here we're missing a shot so I've actually teed off from here and there's a shot missing so to add a tee off shot you can click one there or like I said one here and then this this comes up add missing shot so if you press that once and then press add there's now put it's now put another shot over the top. So if you grab that, you can drag that to here. And then name the club, which was an eight iron. Double check everything. Everything else is fine. Move on to hole three, four even. Right, on this shot, it's saying that there's something wrong, but actually, if you look at it, it's exactly right it does this from time to time but let's say you wanted to add in a lost ball let's just say you've sliced it and it's gone in the sea we've all been there so what you would do is go to one there or one here and then you've got the option of a lost ball or to drop a ball or positional we'll do positional on the next hole so let's say you wanted to do a lost ball so let's press it once and then it's placed that line there look so you can now drag that and put that wherever you want and that's added that penalty stroke on 
If you want to remove that, you can go to the cross there, press that, and it's gone again. So move on to hole five. Now I was saying about that positional shot. Say you didn't, you weren't deliberately playing an approach shot. You wanted to play around a tree. So you go to one, and you would just press positional, which then makes it green. Now this also means now it's not going to be added to the statistics because you've pulled the shot or you don't want to add it to the statistics that's another option to use it so that's that covered let's remove that because I don't want that move on to by the way if you're finding this really helpful don't forget to give this video a like uh, a thumbs up really helps us and uh, yeah support us and subscribe uh, this hole there's nothing wrong with this hole so we'll move on to hole seven so in this one I think yeah I'm, I'm missing an extra putt I made a pig's ear of this so I want to go to four and do add a shot add and then it's added another shot and I can drag that here or here and now that's correct it's on putter so move on now we've got another warning sign here and it's saying I've used the driver. Now this is Starcross Devon. It's a nine hole pitch and putt. You just don't get the driver out. I know I used a seven iron, so I'll change that to a seven. And I made a real mess of this hole as well. But that's all correct. Yeah, that's all correct now. We can move on to hole nine. Now this is something that happens from time to time. Originally this was the the pin area but it isn't anymore this is the green but it still puts the pin there but all you need to do is click on it hold it and drag it to where it should be and there you go all sorted so you want to when you're happy with that go down to save and exit save and exit and then you can go down to sign off oh we've got a medal once you've done that you've got your performance and this will show you your distances and all your clubs your averages your longest blah 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 you've got your tees you've got your approaches your short game your putting you also have medals if you're into that sort of thing it will present you with a medal for achieving certain things you've got a leaderboard so if you want to compete with other people put your stats online you can do that and you've also got explore so you can explore different courses that you've been to and use the watch app and check out your scores and that's it as always guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and be sure to check out all our other content we'll see you in the next one